In the meantime, I'm going to show you these few exercises that you could do because right now you're saying, what's going on? Okay. I just heat the pan a little more. I'm putting it back down halfway now, however, because you don't want it to burn. Now these are, say you don't have any weights, right? You could do side laterals. You'll stand there and you bring them up. These are for your shoulders. And if you had a shoulder problem, these are good. If it does hurt, stop though. Consult your physician. Bring it up. Just don't swing like this. Bring it up like it matters. Hold. One. Two. Flex it when you bring it. Three. Four. Flex it. Five. Six. I can feel it working. Seven. Try to do twenty. Eight. Nine. Hold this one. Ten. I'm just going to do ten, but I do about twenty reps if you could of three sets. If you can't do twenty, you only can do ten. Still just do about three sets and work up to it. It's a challenge, but you can do it. Now, I want you to bend your legs. This is for your rear. It's for your arms so you don't get the jiggly and all this fat here. You ever wear like a shirt where the fat comes out? You don't want that. This is a good way to correct it. You can see my muscle working. So everybody has muscle. You just got to make it come out. And it's for your shoulder. Three. And when you're doing this, squeeze your abs. Four. The problem with people, they bounce. No. Pretend you have weights. Keep everything even. And remember, you do these while your food is cooking every day, just a couple, believe me, it'll work. Plus, you're generating your metabolism right now, so when you eat this food, it's not going to sit in your body for days. It's going to go where it's got to go, fill your body with happy nutrients, and it's going to be stable blood sugar. And guess what? Your body's going to love you. You're going to love your body and be good. Okay, one more rep. Squeeze down. Now, right into this, you're going to do a shoulder press. Up. Up. And visualize you have two weights in your hand. Up, squeeze. Up, squeeze. Up, squeeze. Up, squeeze. Up, squeeze. Up, squeeze. One more. Down. I can feel it all through my shoulder, my tricep. Now, keep going. You got to keep an eye on that now. We're going to do one more set, go right into triceps here. Keep your abs tight, remember, bend like you're skiing, like you're going to sit down. Put your butt out, one, two, three, bring it back and squeeze, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Do about twenty if you could, three steps three sets. See, it's working. I'm starting to slur in my speech. You're working this head, the outer head, the middle, and the inner. Why not? Nobody wants that jiggle. You want nice. You're like, wow, look at that nice piece of muscle there. That girl, she knows how to take care of herself. Or look at that guy. He knows what he's talking about. He has a beautiful arm. People check things out. You'd be surprised. Now, let's flip this here. Now, a lot of kids that have dairy allergies, they might be able to have these corn fritters. Check with it. I have a relative that has an allergy, so I make a lot of food, and I always think of him, what he can eat and what he can eat. So, dairy allergies are bad. So I take consideration on, uh, you know, people's allergies. I used to actually be allergic when I was a child, but I outgrew it. I couldn't drink regular milk, I had to drink goat's milk. Maybe that's why I got big biceps, because thank God for those goats. Okay, I flipped them now. And you just don't want to push on them right yet. Just let them cook for a second. Maybe about 15 seconds. As you can see, they're cooking beautiful. And now you can just push, push on them slightly. Not too much. Just a little, little, little one, you know? Now that they're cooking, we're just going to move them over in the corners, okay? Just put these in the corners. And see, none of them are sticking. It's working as planned. So now we're going to go over here with our chicken. We're going to put our chicken. Oh, beautiful. That's beautiful. I can hear it. I will be tasting it. You can smell it. Honestly, it's beautiful. 
I'm going to put that right there. And did you notice we're not using any more oil? We're just putting it in there. Okay, let's put it here. This is so beautiful. Not, oh my God, that's going to be great. I'll wash my hands again because I did handle that. Now, the fritter is that, how long did that take? Probably, what, 16, 15 minutes? Because I talk a lot and we exercise, not taking too long. They're almost done. If you don't, if you just like really wanted it to go like really tough, you could just use your chicken breast with nothing. Just cook a little, a little spray. Or George Foreman grill is the best. They're good as well. But today we're cooking it this way, simple way. Anybody has a frying pan. Cast iron is very good. It's uh, I guess more the more healthier aspect. Okay, that's cooking now. We're just going to leave that go for a second. Should we do another set? We're going to do biceps. Put your hands out like this. Bring them up. Squeeze. Two. Three. Squeeze your abs. Four. Five. Six. Picture the dumbbell in your arm. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, bring them in the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can do then we're gonna do ten this way. Nine, eight, seven. You're working all three heads. And I'm supposed to do 10, but I'm going to stop here because I'm going to explain all three heads. Lower, middle, upper. Lower, middle, upper. You can get biceps by just doing these exercises. Are you going to be as huge as mine? Absolutely not. But you could start with this, and you can get weights and work up to it. But you'd be surprised, just your own body, like your arm weighs, it weighs something. So if you program it and use it right, you'll get the most out of it. I do this at home a lot. A lot of these exercises, you could use your mind and your muscle connection. If you have weights, it's great, but if you don't, it doesn't matter. Let's check our food out here. We get something to use here. and get a fork. Turn this chicken. This chicken cooks really fast. Beautiful. See? It's cooking up nice. You don't want to burn the chicken now. And remember, we softened it with the lime earlier. Now, what we're going to do is, I have to get a plate for us, I think. I just didn't want to mix the one, the olive oil with the uh, pan. I guess you could probably taste the difference. Actually, we didn't even use a lot of olive oil, did we? What did we use? Two capfuls? That's nothing. Like, what do you get at a picnic, you think, when you go? You get more than two capfuls, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, the chicken's cooking. These are corn fritters. Another two minutes on the chicken. It's cooking very fast. So now this is what we just cooked, the product. It's beautiful. See? You can see the carrot. The kids will love these. They're really, really good. And this is the one with the Pam spread. This is a vegetarian's dream. Very good. I have, actually, I'm amazed. I haven't had these in such a long time. Bring back memories. Let's check the chicken out. This chicken's ready. I don't know about you. Okay. Yep. Now, how do you check chicken? You cut it. You get it? And you bounce it back. See? See? 
That's ready. That's how you can tell. It's got to be white. All white. Don't mind me to eat with my hands, but it's that good that I have to. I showed you a few simple exercises that you don't need weights. I showed you how to make corn fritters with the boneless, skinless chicken breast. You can do this at home for yourself, for your family, for your kids. Get them all involved or you just get involved. Get friends involved. Put the Yahtzee game away. Take it out later and enjoy this. Thank you for enjoying this segment. I hope it was educational. I'll see you next time.